Sharing your calendar is fast and easy with Outlook 2010. There are options to send a read-only snapshot of the calendar or allow colleagues to access your calendar directly from Outlook. Look in the Share group on the Home tab of the Calendar ribbon. The first button, Email Calendar, is handy when you want to share your travel schedule or availability with others without providing direct access to your calendar. Just choose the date range and the amount of detail you'd like to share. Then click OK. Recipients can open this calendar snapshot with Outlook or other email programs, including Gmail, etc. Within an organization, you can allow others to access your calendar directly when Outlook is connected to the Exchange server. Different levels of permissions can be granted for coworkers to read, add, or modify events or appointments on the shared calendar. The process starts by clicking the Share Calendar button on the Home tab of the Calendar ribbon. A new message is displayed with a subject line completed. In the To field, enter the name of those to which the calendar will be shared. Be sure the Allow Recipients to View Your Calendar box is checked. Select the amount of detail to share, and when ready, click the Send button as usual. The person granted access to the calendar will receive an email with the words Sharing Invitation in the subject line. When the recipient clicks the Open This Calendar button, they'll see their default calendar and the shared calendar side by side and can be controlled by the same navigation buttons and views. To temporarily combine the two, the shared calendar can be overlaid by clicking the small arrow just to the left of the calendar name. Click the arrow again to return to the side-by-side -side mode. Recipients of the message now have read-only access to your shared calendar, meaning that a person can see your calendar but not change it. The person sharing the calendar can grant other permissions, for instance, to allow a person to add or edit entries by adjusting the permissions accordingly using the Calendar Permissions button found on the Home tab of the Calendar ribbon.